hello and welcome to this video today we're going to be propagating air onions i think that's how it's called <laughs> and i'm pronouncing it quite slowly so that i get it right so it's air onions faster air onions so today we are propagating air onions and um, ah, i need to tell you the story about this plant so let me show you bring it to the camera so you can see yeah, can you see it? So, um, I had a bigger one, a much bigger one, which I bought in one of our trips away and brought it here. I've, I have never grown it before. I didn't know much about the plant. All I knew was that it looked beautiful when I bought it, you know? So what I did was, um, I think I... I like to report my plants. So when I get a new plant, I like to like cut it up, separate it, put it around, you know, when I'm trying to study it to see how the plant goes so I can get to know more about the plant. So I did that with this. And it was growing, it looked beautiful. And uh, and the winter came, but it didn't do well with the winter. So I didn't really know much about it. I didn't know if I needed to bring it indoors or what I needed to do with it. Um, and I'm also like, learning about um, succulents and how they grow and desert plants and how they grow so i now put it i put one in the kitchen a tiny one in the kitchen was really tiny and then i put some of them in a few pots put one in one pot and in a big pot in the mixture of other plants in the mix of other plants and then the winter came and i lost it I lost it and I think why I lost it was because winter time, my plants suffer during winter time because the cold and myself do not agree. So when it's really, really cold, I tend to hibernate and I visit my plants fewer times than I would during summer. So summertime, I'm always here in the morning, this is the first place I come in, I come and look at them, see how they are doing. Winter time, I'm not here all the time, I sometimes will travel. So I think last year we were not around. So apart from the fact that I wasn't visiting my garden often, we were not around. We traveled, and by the time we came back, and I was looking at looking at the plants and lost a lot of my plants, and I had lost this, or I thought I had lost this. So this summer, while I was tidying up all of the pots, so I found a tiny wee bit of it. I was like, "Oh my God, you survived! You survived! You're still there! I thought I had lost you." So I was so excited though so I moved it from the pot where I found it and I just tossed, you know, like used my finger, I picked it up and you know and I placed it in another pot in it was in this pot, yeah, it was in this pot. I moved it from that pot and I placed it in this pot. And I just put it was just like just touching the soil. It didn't even have like a stalk or anything, it was just touching the soil, but I left it. And then every now and then I'll just go and check it and see how it's doing and it had grown. So it had grown. So what are we doing here today? Why do I want to disturb this plant? Is because I have a bad habit. I don't like to lose plants. And now I know that it can grow from that little thing I saw and that can grow like this in like in two weeks. And I'm now thinking maybe to propagate it. Propagate it. Um, cut it and put them in these two tiny pots. You know, so these are like my test pots. And what I'm going to do is I've got my organic gel, organic protein gel, and I've got my organic protein powder. So I would um, put one using the protein gel, and I'll put one here using the powder, and then I'll see how it does, how it grows, and then you know I just want to multiply it. I don't want to lose it again. I also want to try propagating the leaf yeah um, and seeing if they'll work. it is a supplement um i think it probably would work or maybe not i don't know but it's long enough for me to cut and i've got my scissors here this is you know i can like snip it right at the base and this will give me two from the point i'm going to count and snip it i think i will still have like two more you know from when i snip it and then I'll be able to show you guys um, an update to see if what I did uh, worked or if it didn't work. But if you have aeoliums, 
in your garden or you're growing it or you know much about it leave me a comment in the comment box let me know your thoughts about aeronium so have you tried to propagate it like to increase it did you kill it like i did over christmas uh, this time around with this one i want to be very very careful about it i want to multiply it like literally multiply it as much as i can because I want it to grow. It's such a beautiful plant. Oh my god, you need to see what I saw and why I bought it. Um, they had like the big ones and they had small pots and I bought the small pots. I came back home with a small pot. Um, so I really want to grow this and have it as part of my collection in this garden. The garden is looking well. It's, I'm very proud. <laughs> I'm very proud of 2019 and what I've done here. It is still evolving but this is so, so much. If you look at my very first video when I did an overview of my garden and look at my garden now, you know that I have improved. I have improved. So all my, my plants are happy. They are all happy. They smile. They are, they, I can tell that they are happy. When I come in, they are happy. They are like, oh, she, she is really taking care of us. So cutting long story short, let's get down to business. So this is, this is it again. I'm going to show you. And um, one of the reasons for even doing this video is to see that if what I do works, then we know we can do it. So if it works, then you can try it out and, on, in your own garden and it will work and then I can try it again. If it doesn't work, then I know that this didn't work and I won't try it again. I probably can buy myself a new one and be more careful next time. But I hope that this works and I don't have to. Bye. Yeah, so the party boat was getting too close and it was just too noisy. Um, I could barely hear myself. That's why I decided to do a voice over over this. So what I was trying to show you there is um, I bought some pots by mistake. See how tiny they are. The size is wrong I, on Amazon. Um, but what I'm using the propagation now and the, the one I'm pointing at is um, ornamental peppers, which I'll be telling you about at a later video. Ornamental peppers are so beautiful. They are purple, very light purple, pink, like dark purple and dark pink. Um, but it's very, very pretty. So at some point when they are all budded and um, have all the, the fruits, I'll do a video about them. So now I'm saying let's get down to business. So the uh, on aeonium, I'm going to snip it. Um, the, you always snip just above the leaf, leaf node, um, so that it's you know new shoots can come just after the leaf node. So I think that's what I'm trying to tell you there. That I'm just going to snip it right under this leaf node, and I'm counting how many I have or how many I'm going to get out of that cutting. I think the plan is to get like three, and just be very optimistic. So that's what I've been able to cut out. I'm going to leave this little bit and we will see what happens with this one. Hopefully it will grow again and if it doesn't, you have the updates to know whether it grew or not. Okay, so I'll just keep this one here and then let's work with this. Um, I've got that like that. Yeah, so I'm just showing you. Okay, so snipping now. Yep. It's giving me this too. Yeah. So what I'll do with this now, I'm going to put this one in the rooting gel. Rooting gel. too much just a little yeah that's touched it i mean i'm sure it can even grow without the routine gel because the other one i didn't i didn't put any routine gel i just stuck it onto the, the soil and it grew but this is me trying to be quick so let's see just make a little tiny hole in the middle and then i'm just going to stick that in there Again, we had another noisy, this time it was a plane and a boat that came and so it was really, really noisy. Um, it was almost impossible <laughs> to do this recording, but I was so determined to do it. But anyway, what I was showing you there is me talking in the plant. I put one in, in routine gel and one in powder gel 
um, for the other one which I'm about to pick up now um, what I've done is plucking the leaves I'm going to be plucking the leaves just to give it a bit of stem since it doesn't have enough stem so I will be moving it side to side um, instead of yanking it because if you yank it um, it's not good for the plant okay so that's out and I'm gonna try to see grow that I'm doing the same here that's out you're just gently moving it side to side and then that's the river boat and all the screaming I'll take out two more That's another one. So I've got three there. Uh, this one is enough to, to stick in. But let me take out two more. Being very gentle. That's, um, how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, five. It's quite young. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. So now I've got enough to stick down. So I'm going to stick this. I'll put this in the routine powder. I'm almost running out of this one now. I need some more stock. <laughs> okay, so I've got some of the scissors. I've got some of the scissors. So I'm just going to touch it. I'm going to do is just put them away so then this this plants love the sun and the colors change so one of the things i noticed from the old one i had was that the color changed and i noticed that if you put it in a shade it will keep stretching it will, it will be stretching to get the sunlight it doesn't need too much of sun and it doesn't need too little sun <laughs> so in the middle and it doesn't need too much of water also because I think this is originally like a desert kind of plant. So um, just like the succulents, so they don't need too much water. They need water, but not too much water. I won't be watering it because the soil I'm using has, is a bit damp. It has a bit of water in it, so I'm not going to water it. I'm not going to leave it like this. Um, and um, for the leaves, I won't plant the leaves immediately. One of the things I've learned about succulents is when you take them off the main stalk, you leave them for a day or two so that um, they produce the callus, they call it callus, I think that's what it's called. Basically, that, that tip, that wet bit dries out, and then when that wet tip dries out, that's where you plant it. Um, you can also just lay it down on, on the soil. So like as this is now, when it's dried, what I'm going to do is just lay it down now, i'm not going to dig it in like that and then we'll see what happens yeah um it's got it's got the up and the down so this oops have i lost it this one has the front and the back so the front you can see the arch you can lay it down that way and this is can you see it's like a boat so I think for this one, the best will be to lay it down this way when I, when, I, um, when I start planting it. 
uh, with these bits touching the soil. But let's see, it's all a test and if I succeed, then you guys know it works. And if I don't succeed, you also know she didn't succeed. But you will get to know at the end of the day what happens to the aeoniums. Um, but I am quite confident that one of the three will survive or all of the three will survive and the leaves um, it will be nice if one of the five or if two of the five survive it will be absolutely fantastic so exactly one month later i checked the plants the aeoniums you can see how beautiful that one looks in a small pot and the mother pot um, this is what the mother pot looks is it has some new leaves there the second small pot i lost it in the rain and this is two months later this is what it looks like two months later the small pot can you see how pretty it is two months later absolutely lovely just look at the shades look at the definition and the color and the petals it's beautiful absolutely beautiful and this is the mother pot this is what the mother pot looks like it's opened up so much so i am very tempted to snip them again and just multiply them again and then give them out as gifts but amazing 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 that's the video and i just want to thank you for watching if you're new to my channel please do like please do like and subscribe share um hit the notification bell so that you know when i come live and i love gardening i love plants i've always loved plants from when i was a kid my mom was a plant lover and i just i was born into seeing her plants and i started taking care of the plants and she abandoned the, <laughs> abandoned the job for me because i was doing a good job so i've always loved plants and at some point in my life i had a dad a, a, a plant shop you know um, i was growing indoor plants and selling them um, this was back home and then I, when I came to this country I didn't have space, you know, came to a new land and some of the plants are completely new to me, I don't know about them so I'm discovering, lavenders I know about, I'm, I'm discovering plants so I'll be sharing with you on this channel of the plants, what I discover and one thing I do is that I'm always nurturing, I like to nurture, I like to grow from seed, I like to grow from stem I like to have them as babies or buy them when they're tiny and then watch them grow so I can study them. That's just how I am with plants, you know. Um, very rarely will you find me buy a full grown plant. It, most of the plants you've seen, here, or all of the plants actually, every single plant in this, it came tiny, came really, really tiny. And some of them have, have grown from seed. See, I tried growing um, bamboo by seed. Um, it was successful, one of them had a shoot but I didn't have the conditions right I'm gonna try it again and see if I have learned my lesson so yeah forget to making this too long thank you very much for watching and I will see you on my next video bye for now and God bless